friends, it's me, and today we're checking out some very creative people. Oh, hold still. No way! It wouldn't y'all pause it on! I thought it was the static he screened for a second. Is that Michael Jackson Bar Simpson? Is this a coincidence? I think not. How to draw nose? No? Cannot figure out how to draw nose? Put clown nose. Yes, perfect. Oh wait, I, I looked away for like two seconds and they already have like a nose. I don't understand how y'all go from like one color to like blending everything so perfectly and then wha-bam. How to draw nose. Y'all artists make this look so easy. You make it look too easy. Cause it's like, my question is how do you get from this to this? There is no way. Wait, how is this tattoo actually glowing? Is it glow in the dark? Or they got technology now that will light up your tattoos. I think they're using a special kind of light to make it look like it's glowing. But when there is no more light, there is no more glow. Whoa. That does not look like a real shoe. You told me the shoe started out like the left and then she painted it to look like that. It looks like it's straight out of Borderlands. This shoe like says everything just looks like it's drawn on. Like straight out of a comic book and onto your foot. <gasps> Ooh, is that dough? Clay? Oh, it is insane to me how you could just like put the coloring and then mix it all up and then the whole thing is covered. It was white a second ago. And then they cut it all up, dyed it with some red, put some gold in it. Y'all making popcorn? No. You know, there is a marble cheese like this. It's one of the stinky ones. And then they cut out the little hearts, baked them, and then you got these earrings. Cool. Client, can you build me a hidden wine cellar so people don't know I drink a lot? <gasps> Whoa, that is behind the kitchen? Nobody's gonna know. How would they know? See, at first it looks like a normal kitchen, and then you turn on the light, and I was like, whoa, hidden wine cellar. I was like, why the sink ain't on the island? It looks nice, but not very practical. I get triggered when the sink is not on the island. This is not a pizza. You mean there isn't one more slice left? No, no more pizza. Just a painting. It's oil paint. Now when I zoom into it, it kind of looked like a painting. The little dabs of paint look like Parmesan. Okay, what is this? Onion and veggie pizza? I don't even want it anymore. They took a seashell off the beach, cleaned it up, put some rocks on the first layer, added some resin, then they're gonna paint a few layers, then add some resin, and then paint the rest of the photo. Add some more resin. It's a manatee. And the way they do that with the paint, resin, paint, resin, the layers, it makes it look like it's 3D. He really look like he's trapped in the shell. Free him. Ooh, that is perfect. A nude macaroon. Oh, as soon as they put the sesame seeds. Y'all are making a macaroon burger. That's not ketchup. Oh wait, that's the cheese. Wait, why are you dyeing the cheese red? That's not the cheese, is that the tomato? Oh, this is a dessert. So everything has to be sweet. Oh, that's the boiga, isn't it? Some caramel sauce. Oh no, it's jelly. That's the cheese, yeah. A kiwi. What does the kiwi for? We already have the lettuce. Puree the kiwi. Cut it, texturize it. Oh, they're making pickles! I forgot about the pickles! Oh, that is perfect! When it comes to food, there is absolutely nothing this guy can't make. This guy went to the Dollar Tree, got some balloons, flowers, pool noodles, a paper towel holder, a broom, put them all together, and the flowers of the balloons, and made this! It's you! You're the reason that they changed their prices. The Dollar Tree is now $1.25 instead of a dollar. This was bound to happen sooner or later. I you come up with these things. It's the flowers and the balloons and then just put them around the heart. Was Minnie and Mickey from the Dollar Tree? I didn't think so. I was like, wait, did they upgrade the arcane graphics? Did they do a live action? But this is actually a cosplay. And she did everything so perfectly. Like it's so spot on. She looked more like Jinx than Jinx looked like Jinx. I cannot believe this. It's so good. They got a Kirby keyboard! How do you know which letter each Kirby is? Ah, uh, some people memorize their keyboard. I, unfortunately, have not. Basically, they made a mini Kirby for the Kirby, and then another mini Kirby, and then what? Another one! Is there more? Oh, there is one more! A mini Kirby for the mini Kirby for the mini Kirby for the mini Kirby for the mini Kirby keyboard. Excellent! Now we're talking! So she sliced this bagel right with this bagel slicing device. A little excessive. You thought that was excessive? This dude got a whole entire guillotine to slice a bagel. They still got those? Sir, where did you get that from? Is that even legal? For bagels, yes. For executions, no. <laughs> 
They took a bunch of sprinkles. I don't like these ones. These are the inferior sprinkles, the round ones. No, I like the long ones. They mixed some edible glitter in there. So they're all coated. Put a cake pop in it. Whoa, so that's how they do it. So instead of like sprinkling it all over the cake pop, you put it in the sprinkles and just mix it. Pretty good. They knitted a mini scarf out of their noodles. You know, I see people do this with only a few loops, but seeing the entire bowl knitted into a little scarf is very satisfying. Look at the loops, like they're actually knitting the noodles. When mother says not to play with your food, this is exactly what she means. Now take a bite. I was like looking at this, I'm like, what is this? What could this possibly be? But it's tie-dye. It, that is a shirt tied up with over a hundred ties. And he painted each section of it. You know, all of us are used to tie-dye, just like twist the shirt and then tie it in like five spots. But no, you could do so much more. This is just a very intricate tie-dye. And then after he dyes all the sections, and then you take it out and it looks like this. There is no way, that is incredible. I didn't even know tie-dye could do that. I didn't even know it could be this intricate crazy I did not know tie-dye could be so clean some good old Lego cooking how can you make Legos look wet I don't know but they did it they make it a cake look it like it squirts out liquid and then it goes on Lego they're making a cake that was frosting it's this is insane to me that raised my temperature thinking about this they did hundreds of layers of nail polish on one nail. But wait, what happens when you dig a little hole? Make a little tunnel through it. There's been a hole, wipe it away, let's see. <gasps> it's like a jawbreaker. After you actually take a bite and break your jaw in the process. They have all these little molds that they're gonna fill with resin and then add in all the glitter, all the sparkles, even pearls. Pop them all out. Do they look familiar yet? They're actually hair clips. So this is how they make them. And then some stores be selling these for like $20 a pop. It's just glittery resin. And then they just hot glue a hair clip on the back. Okay, they look good though. I wasn't ready for that one. I was like, that's a Bath and Body Works candle. It's even lit up, but no, it's a cake. It's funfetti. Ugh, not the crusty can of tuna. That's been sitting for a few days. They opened it up, put it in the fridge. For once, I am relieved it's actually cake. Actually, look at the inside of that. It doesn't, it doesn't not look like cake. Look like some rolled up turkey slices. Saying chicken of the sea and it's not cake. It's sussy. I don't trust this one bit. Oh, a beanie. The beanie's a brownie. Pretty good. They made resin art out of a cracked egg. So they just took two eggshells and then they got the resin to like pour out of it. What kind of broken bird this come from? Where is the yolk? This egg got mouthwash in it. Matching the color of this dill pickle. We're gonna start off with some blue and yellow. Oh, oh, I know this one. This one makes green. Some red. Red, I would've just added more yellow. Oh, more yellow and more red. Oh, I can't wait for the part where it just blends in. Oh, there it is. There it is, it's already blended into the pickle. Sir, you've won. You've won this challenge. It's over for the pickle and the paint. The paper just disappeared into the pickle. There was this art exhibit of these two people. They get real close. Well, that's a little too close. A little too close. I'm gonna have to ask you to back up and then wait. They just go through each other from strangers to lovers to strangers again. So I guess it didn't work out between them. Y'all are basically built the same. If y'all couldn't find love, then there ain't no hope for the rest of us. Mmm, peanut butter. But on brush? No, not peanut butter. It's paint. It's too smooth to be peanut butter. Oh, that must be Skippy. It's like the exact same color. If you didn't put it on a wall and put it on a bread, I would have believed you. That would have been peanut butter. Oh, there's other paint and other colors, so. All right, I have no choice but to believe you. So she's doing this wall art and painting some green. Mmm, that is some thick paint. <gasps> I was aggressive. Please be kind and gentle to the paint. Just kidding. Paint has no pain receptors. Go crazy. And then painted trees and leaves. Ooh, yummy. Is that plaster? Oh, you mix it with the paint? And then it makes it very thick? This, this is going to take it to the next level. Watch this. Look how thick and creamy this is. That's actually genius using plaster with the paint. I didn't even know you could do that. If that was oil paint that was that thick, one, it would be very expensive. Two, it would take literally months 
to dry. Oh, so you can add texture. We got a nice little snake plant. My toxic tray just thinking that I can do this. I have to remind myself that I cannot do this. You see how all the colors are like separated? Every time I try to put wet paint on top of wet paint, it ends up mixing. The colors don't separate. Maybe I'm using a dirty brush. Those look so good. It's like 3D leaves, like just coming out the wall. 10 out of 10 would hang up. But anyways, that's all for today. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click, and subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.